G'day, James Cullen at Stones Corner Marine, and today I've got the opportunity to show you over the flagship boat from Bar Crusher Boats. It's also our flagship boat. It's our biggest and our best boat. It's a 780 hardtop Bar Crusher. Uh, looks amazing in, in the uh, black finish, white decks, uh, and this boat's loaded with gear. I'm not gonna be able to show you everything today, but I wanna give you a quick walk around and highlight a couple of uh, features on the thing. For starters, it's on the Bar Crusher Easy Tow Trailer. That's a factory recommended trailer for this boat. It's very important. That's the device that gets you to and from the water safely. And it's very important to make sure you're putting the right trailer on your boats. Hence why Bar Crusher partner with Easy Tow to make sure their trailers suit their boat. They're all drive on and drive off. We won't go into any more details today, but there's some cool features down the transom and I want to show you. All right, so we're always very excited about the uh, outboards that we fit the boats and, and you know, there's conversations whether we have max power, not max power, what power delivers the performance for your application. Uh, in this instance, this customer's opted for Yamaha's 4.2 litre V6 300 horsepower. It's plenty of horsepower in this boat. Quite honestly, a 250 on this boat is ample as well. Uh, but in this case, we've got the max horsepower. This model two um, that's been fitted here uh, is Yamaha's integrated steering model, which is therefore compatible with the Yamaha Hellmaster EX. Now this integrated steering that I'm talking about is this, this area here. So instead of the traditional hydraulic steering, we've got integrated electric steering. Okay, so it's not electric over hydraulic, it's electric only, okay. This bit of gear has been out for a number of years now. We haven't seen any uh, issues from our service department in regards to it. It's proving very reliable and it's certainly very popular. Okay, a couple other features I wanna show you on this outboard. This model here, which is part of the uh, XSB model, um, include, includes raised deckling, certainly very uh, expensive looking. This model here is fit, this boat here is fitted with a Hellmaster EX, which then incorporates an integrated light system. Now this light system advises other boats in the area and swimmers who potentially are in the water or paddle craft that are in the water around this boat. These lights indicate that the boat is under the control of the Hellmaster system and not necessarily the captain on board. Okay, so very important. That's a feature that's only available currently on the 4.2 litres uh, and it is new. It's replaced the two transom lights that we've seen up until this point. Okay, other little features, you know, it, it's got an improved uh, lower unit which allows for greater performance in reverse. Now that's certainly something that's uh, more applicable to certain applications and not all applications. So perhaps the blue water guys backing up on fish, that may be a very good feature. For the rest of us, myself included, it's not something that uh, delivers any great uh, enhancement to, to my situation. I just want to show you this, so these 4.2 litres with the integrated steering also have a double tap trim and tilt feature and a built-in um, uh, tilt uh, limiter. Okay, so we've limited the travel of this motor in the trim and tilt position so it doesn't hit the bait board, but it also gives us this ability to do a double tap of the trim and tilt and watch what happens. An alarm sounds. There you go, as easy as that. Double tap on the trim and tilt up button. An alarm sounds to advise people in the vicinity that this outboard is gonna operate it on its, on its own. It then tilts that motor up with a interrupted alarm sounding, just advising it's doing it on its own accord. And it stopped at the predetermined tilt limit, preventing it from hitting the bait board. Really cool feature, I love that one. While we're here, we've got the motor trimmed up now. All of our Yamaha outboards, we try and partner with the best propeller to suit the boat. In this instance, our testing has proven that the Yamaha Saltwater Series 2 uh, polished stainless steel prop with shift dampening system technology is the best prop for this boat, okay? There are performance bulletins out there giving performance figures on this boat motor combination. I'm not gonna go into details today, but that, that is a high quality prop made by Yamaha for Yamaha outboards. Now, come on, let's go to more, have a quick look at the boat. All right, the first thing I notice when I get into the 780 is the amount of room in it. There, there is so much room in the 780, uh, you're spoiled for, for opportunity. That, that's also with the king and queen seats. So with these queen seats out the back, there's still ample room for, for four fishermen 
to certainly do what they need to do or for that big fish landing have working space a couple of things under these queen seats if you're option for them is you do get the ability to have an angle fridge uh, on board now this boat's fitted with, with, with one angle fridge and the other is a large storage capacity it is possible to have two fridges it's not something we see a lot of we normally just see the one one fridge just normally for those uh, uh, you know pack lunches etc okay so big pilot seats they're on, they've got bolsters easy support for the lower lap, uh, lower back and lumbar let's come up the front here we've seen all the room down here let's come up here one thing bar crusher do very well is their dashes they give us at the dealership level plenty of room and real estate to, to mount what we need to mount this is a garmin 16 inch 84 16 unit flush mounted in the dash side side of that is a co5 yamaha gauge Beneath that, the Yamaha Hellmaster EX autopilot control switch. Below that, we've got the Garmin grid control. Now this is something that I think is very much undersold and perhaps not known about out there. These big screen electronics which are all touch are fantastic in a static condition or at a low speed condition. But when, when you're cruising along, perhaps doing 50, 60 kilometers an hour, there's a bit of sea on and it's a bit rough and you, you know, your hand's doing these ones, trying to, trying to zoom a screen or, or change a screen. By getting the Garmin grid control, it gives you buttons and knobs in which you can alter the screen um, display. So you can zoom the screen, you can change between the screens if you're running split, you can change between preset favorites, you can make a mark. That grid control, it's definitely undersold. If you're out there watching this video and you've got a touchscreen Garmin, highly recommend investing in that. It makes life underway so much better on the Garmin product. To the right of that, we've got the Hellmaster EX joystick. That's the full maneuverability kit, uh, which offers all Hellmaster EX features on this boat. I won't go into any more details. There's lots of videos on that out there by Yamaha. Some really good stuff. I, I suggest watching that to get the more intricate decal, detail of that. We've got the Yamaha digital throttle. We've got the trim tab control. Electric steering helm, as I said, no hydraulics. It's all electric steering. That's in behind. It's no bigger than a, a traditional hydraulic system. Above my head here, we have the two radios. We have a VHF radio, which is most commonly used these days. We also have a 27 meg radio, which is still used in some parts uh, of Queensland or Australia, uh, mainly speaking boat to boat. Um, look at this bit of flash gear. You'll see it here too. We, we've got the Fusion lit um, speakers. Now these are seven and a half inch here, and these are six and a half inch up here. Uh, that's what the customers ordered. And you'll see the backlighting. So currently we've got the blue light feature set. Now, when these lights first came out and, and people started talking about these, I probably took the wrong approach to, to thinking of the value. I looked at it from, oh, okay, these are a, a party light or, or a, a cool fad that's gonna last a very short time. The feedback that I've got from actual people who use them is they actually offer some very useful light in and around the boat. So whether you've got a boat like this with a hard top, or setting some down in the uh, rear of your boat. These fusion speakers with lights can offer you not only sound, but, but also lighting. It's just something to, to just keep in mind when you're doing your research. Okay, this boat here is fitted with the uh, fold up front windscreen. That complements the sliding side windscreens in the 780. This feature here is something we don't do a lot of. Um, a lot of people opt for the, the fixed glass there. This particular client's offered for the lift out front hatch. Below that, the lock up cabin. This is probably one of the best things about the large bar crusher uh, cabin boats is the ability to lock your cabin. So whether you're staying at a marina and you want to put your, your fishing gear in there and lock it away, uh, etc., or it's in storage somewhere, that's a really cool feature. It is on a, a simple slide, nice and easy. It retracts up and it gives full access to the cabin. You will see this 780 here is fitted with a macerated toilet. Uh, it's got a full set of bunks that cover over that area uh, for sleeping. I just wanted to display the uh, macerated toilet. There is plenty of room in here. I want to step down just to give you an idea. You know, there is plenty of headroom. You know, there's no, no issues with height. Good, good seating room. No, no in here. I've got a good foot above my head at the highest point. Uh, all the back of the dashes are covered in. There's also, just noticing in here, there also is um, 
cabin reading lights on both sides. Look, I think that's it. I think the 780 is something that um, is certainly, as I said, a flagship boat for us in Bar Crusher. It's certainly something to aim for, uh, you know, when you're doing your research and looking at the, all the gadgets on this. Certainly something that I would say, um, you know, be inspired by. Look, if you want any more information, we don't publish prices of, of sold boats on our social media um, platforms. We will do quotes for people that contact us. You can contact us via a message, just give us your first name, last name, mobile number and email address, or you can contact the dealership and speak with salesman and provide those details and we'll have a conversation about a package to suit you. But we're more than happy to put these packages together and give you something to um, appreciate if you need. Thanks for watching this video. Cheers.